coming to you today from Mexico City. <laughs> I've never been to Mexico City before. Solo and I are here to meet with some pastor friends of ours from all over North America. Solo meets with them regularly and they all get together one, every year or every two years. Uh, but this time all the spouses came. I almost didn't come actually. It was a very last minute decision to go ahead and come. Um, I had been invited with all the other spouses and I knew it was so close to our Kenya trip. I felt like I would not want to go and um, there's some truth to that because your house is running finally. Like, I don't know, I love being at home. I love keeping the laundry up. I love to, to do all this stuff. But at the last minute, I realized I was the only one not coming and um, Solo and I just haven't had any time together alone for months months uh, maybe since we went to florida i think we went out um on a quick dinner date one night before we went to kenya but otherwise it was that trip to florida that's literally it's been it's been a lot going on and so i thought this you know this is a time for us to just connect we're here for just a couple days we actually left yesterday and um, we were supposed to leave at like we were supposed to get up at 3 30 in the morning and leave our house by four and we found out maybe at midnight that our flight was canceled or grossly delayed because of weather. The plane wasn't able to come in uh, to Omaha. So we ended up not leaving till 1.30 and then that flight was delayed till two, I think. We had to run for our connection in Houston. We almost missed that, which would have put us here very, very late at night. But we ended up getting here in time for a late dinner with the whole group, it was nice. Came home, slept, or came to the hotel, slept. We're in a hotel in a mall. It's just interesting. It's a big mall, I forget what it's called, but we have a view of downtown over there. No views of the mountains from this side. They've met here before. I think I even had some vlog clips from when Solo was down here a year or two ago. It's nice, a very nice hotel room. Um, like I said, my first time in Mexico City. I was in Mexico one other time. It was the only time besides Florida last year that Solo and I have ever done a vacation together. And we went to Puerto Vallarta with Luke and Jill, my brother and sister-in-law, uh, 17 years ago. <laughs> That's a long time ago. Puerto Vallarta is nothing like Mexico City. So I'm really enjoying getting, just know the city a little, just driving from the airport to this uh, mall where we're staying. I'm not sure if we'll even be able to get out much. We're here all day today, all day tomorrow. We have meetings, of course, most of that time. Meetings and lunches and all that. Um, and then Saturday morning, we leave early in the morning. So it's just two full days. It was supposed to be two and a half days. We should have had all afternoon yesterday. So that was sad that we missed that. Some of the group went downtown, which I would have loved to have done. But it's okay, we'll see what the next two days bring. We're meeting the team at nine, it's eight right now, so we need to go find the hotel breakfast. <laughs> Belle is running the show at home. She does a great job, and all the kids have different responsibilities to help out Luca a lot, and especially when he's not detasseling, and uh, Judah too will is helping out some. So, all right, here's some of the, <laughs> here's some of the ladies, you know her. Hi. We're from all over North America. Yes, and we're having fun. We're gonna have some soup. My mom thought this was rice, but <laughs> it's onions. That would have been interesting, and lime to go in it. It's we, it's a several course meal, right? Yeah. Well, at first they just served us the vegetables, and we thought maybe we were fasting. <laughs> <Yeah. or something. laughs> then they poured this over it. So yeah. this is Ale's mom. She Ale was in um, Japan in the church plant team with Judah. Yeah. So it was, uh, this is my first time meeting her. Yes, we have someone from Columbia planting a church in Orlando. <laughs> That's awesome. Gladys from Singapore, just visiting. Jamaica over here, representing. Mexico City born, Calgary. Oh my goodness. Singapore born, Toronto living. You had to be born somewhere fun. Washington born. <laughs> Iowa <laughs> living. <laughs> oh yeah, and there's Vivian. She's in Mexico City. She set all this up for us. She's amazing. <laughs> okay. Oh. <laughs> I found out so 
come up and watch this vlog. She watches the vlog. She has a daughter in Colombia that watches the vlog. Oh my goodness. It's so fun. That looks so good. There's the guys over there. We separated just for this one meal. <laughs> that was such a good meal. Most of the guys have left. But let me show you this restaurant view. Actually, this restaurant's in the hotel. <laughs> Mexico City since we got here yesterday has been rainy and cold which it's up in the mountains so even though we're much closer to the equator it can be cool still like Nairobi but anyways good view of the city this city has 22.5 million people it's like seventh largest city in the world of metropolitan areas is that crazy it's big I wish you could see more of it there's me in the <laughs> I think everybody's touring old Mexico City on Saturday and we have to get back. We're only here two days. Uh, we need to get back to our kids and our church. So I'm really sad we're missing that part. Well here, I would love to see it, but hopefully I'll get another chance another time. <laughs> he's oh, here too. He's what? Here. Wow. Here, Are guess. you just following me? I'm not. <laughs> no, you follow me. <laughs> That's true. Look at these cute little picnic tables for serving tables. <laughs> this group of pastors are all church planters. In fact, together the group planted the church in Sapporo in Japan. And so they get together to talk about missions a lot. Um, most of the churches are newer church plants or they have planted a lot of churches. We want to be among those. This is another view over the, um, on the other side of the hotel. Right here. What wasn't that food good? It was so good. It was so good. <laughs> <laughs> this is another view. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be my coming in between the two of you. <laughs> yeah, sure. yeah. Those tostados were amazing, though. I loved them. Yeah. I hope it clears up because you can tell there's mountains out there, but it's hard to, it's hard to really see them. And here's the room we're meeting in. Okay, it's the next morning. Last night we got to go out to dinner with Lillian, who was on the Japan team with Judah. Uh, we've gotten to see a lot of his team, and um, that was fun. Her mom came. We ate dinner with them, had a great time, and it was Italian in Mexico, and it was so good, really good. I have not had one bad meal here. And this is my son. <laughs> my older brother. <laughs> you look very, you look very my very other son from Malaysia. Yes. <laughs> one son from Singapore. And which wife is my, this from? My, my, yeah, my exactly. daughter from Mexico. <laughs> 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 Okay, I can't believe we're eating Italian in Mexico. But yeah. Looks good. I got ravioli. Uh, no, oh, I didn't Lillian got. What'd you get, Lillian? Um, fettuccine alfredo. Oh, oh yum. Yeah, this morning we're headed back to meetings. We have been watching closely. I know a lot of you have reached out to us too. We're watching closely the situation in Kenya. They're having a lot of what started with peaceful protests and then. Um, the government got involved, not necessarily in a good way. Last night, three of our family members had gunshots out that they were hearing outside their doors for hours. It's just been really wild. And so we're on our phones all the time, just kind of watching um, in our family group chat how everybody's doing, making sure everybody's safe. So far, everybody is safe, including KKB. And so thank you guys for your concern there. But yeah, we're also watching very closely. So anyway, we're off to a meeting again. Just feels like we're very, very far away from Kenya right now. Oh man. Okay, today we can see, oh, earlier, <laughs> you can see more of the mountains and the, the life that lives on them. Not this afternoon now. So here's the mall that's connected to our hotel. Sears, IHOP, they got everything here. Lots of restaurants we're familiar with. It's really nice. In the evenings, it's very full. Open air, mostly. The meetings were really good. Here's the cute room. And they're officially over, but 
change of plans. We're actually going downtown. Turns out like the whole old town tomorrow that they were gonna do, it's all shut down for the Pride Parade tomorrow. So they're going today instead, which works out really good for us because then we get to go with them. So yay, here we go. Let's get out of here. Hola, como estas? <laughs> Bien, gracias. Half of, our meet, half of our meetings are in Spanish. I mean, half of our, a third of our group is Spanish speaking only. So we've had to hone our skills. Yes. Mm. <laughs> I think I took four years in high school and my skills are not very good. I took no years in any time. I have translated for you a little, but mine is not very good. If I was here for a while, I'd pick it up again quickly. I'm pretty sure. If but I'm after just coming from Kenya, it's easy to mix it all. Yeah. I'm pretty sure if I if I put in some effort, even two months effort, I could get conversation ah. easily. Yeah. The problem is I'll ask some oh. things. Look, I asked something about an ATM, you know, and the guy told me what to say, like Rob did. Mm -hmm. When I pr pronounced it, it sounded. Really good. So then the lady goes off. I mean, yeah, they think I speak complete <laughs> Spanish because I said that. We don't. Yeah. Oh. It's been the grossest phase, weather wise. <laughs> so we found out the locals are really happy about this weather because it's been so hot lately that apparently some of the water reservoirs were running out of water, like dried up. Uh, so all this rain and cool weather is a nice relief for them. At home it's really hot. If it's hot where you are, I have some cold treats that are our favorite go-tos and I will send it to you. I'll put a, a link down below in the description box. If you want to click on it, you could get that sent for free to your email. So let me know down there if you want that. This lobby is so cute though. We're meeting our whole group here. Our group is loading up into six taxis, I think. <laughs> We're trying to make sure there's one Spanish speaker in each car so that we get where we're supposed to get. <laughs> he is not the Spanish speaker in this car. <laughs> You're the Spanish speaker in the car, right? I don't know who this man is. I don't know where I'm going. Oh, come on. They're the Spanish speakers. Thank goodness. <laughs> oh, gosh. Solo sitting in the back middle of that tiny car. That's. That's vlog material, right? Oh, Christian! Oh my gosh! <laughs> Will this car make it? We're not sure. <laughs> Looks like they rearranged. Is it a little better back there? <laughs> these are these are the smart people. Did you buy that or bring it? Did you bring that from? You brought it from Singapore? Yeah. No Singapore. kidding, you travel with an umbrella. <laughs> Smart. When you, when you live in the tropics, yes. you know. Yes, <laughs> that's true. And you're used to being outside a lot, walking around, exactly. public yeah. transportation. Sun and rain. Yep. <laughs> My friend Molly here, I just found out her great great grandfather was one of the presidents of Mexico. Yes, She's royalty. She's royalty. Yeah. Yeah. We're amongst royalty. Wow, yeah. Do you have secret service? <laughs> She's telling us about the buildings around here. She knows what she's talking about. We're moving. Like this, we are attracting a lot of attention. Yeah, we are. <laughs> we don't look like tourists. Oh, look at that. So fun. I love street food. Oh, we look like tourists, but so fun. <laughs> it's worth it. <laughs> okay, we're trying to get a group picture. See if it'll work.
Awesome. We're drawing a lot of attention to ourselves, but um, it's good. We got a good picture. Beautiful old buildings. It is awesome. I guess there are concerts here several times a week. That means that the soldier died in battle. Um, if you see a, a, a statue with one foot in the air, it means they died of a wound that happened in battle, but they died off the field. And if they have all four feet on the ground, it means they fought in the battle, lived, but are recognized for an extraordinary act. Ah. Okay. Wow. Wow. <laughs> We're getting lots of photos here. <laughs> We're going in the theater. The building is beautiful. Give it to someone. Oh, the street food. That's what I'm interested in. <laughs> Lots of DJs around here, playing their tunes. Random people dance sometimes. <laughs> Cleaning the bottom of the fountain. In the rain. I don't want any of it. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, there's a lot of shopping down these tents, including crickets. Something like that. He's making these shoes right here. That's so cool. Oh, that looks good. It does. Look at this. He is That's making it cool. right here. <laughs> that is really cool. It's beautiful. And Sarah, his blankets are beautiful. They are. That's so cool that he's making them right there. Wow, yeah. That's beautiful. Closet one. As you can see, a little different. So we'll wait a little that building's leaning. Rob was telling us he knows the history of this city, that they're slowly raising it an inch a year. But if you sit up there in the restaurant, you feel like you feel how you're crooked. <laughs> We're going in the leaning building. So the building. Oh, sorry. Sunk because of the weight and because of the earthquake in '85, the really big ones. So yeah, we're leaning. It is le like leaning. Like all the floor, you feel like you're going we're sideways. Leaning. I look at Chris. He's coming up the stairs. <laughs> you can hardly do it. <laughs> you should try going to the bathroom. And just leaning. <laughs> it's an experience. Oh, oh boy. That is beautiful. So even. It's so, so intricate. The lighting. Wow, it's gorgeous. Oh, the violinist is down there. I was going to say, there's a live music somewhere. It is very strange how crooked it is. <laughs> it's a weird sensation to be in here. It is really, it's really downhill. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> Rob has been giving us a great history lesson about the earthquakes. Are we going the wrong, am I going the wrong way? This is the right way. September 19th, there's an earthquake every year in Mexico City. And one year they were, they were commemorating the one that was in 85. And so the sirens went off to commemorate it, and this is just like two or three years ago. And then the sirens went off again two minutes later, and people thought it was just like re... They were still commemorating the other one. It was a real earthquake, and 350 people died because they didn't realize that. It's wild. This is all tile out here, too. Hand-painted. Huh? Hand-painted. Hand-painted? Hand-painted with horse hair brushes. What? Yeah, isn't it something? The French came over and did that. Wow. Yeah, they be they quote unquote beautified the building. Oh, there's a mariachi. That's oh, a real that's deal. That's so cool. Yeah. 
Oh, they got a show down there. Yeah. So this is the real, the real downtown here. <laughs> the architecture is pretty cool. Or the design. The darker it gets, the prettier it is. This <laughs> the Pleitos, celos, ahí están. Idas, contiendas, disensiones. Not live there. Presidential Palace. It's a, it's a ceremonial <laughs> building now. Okay. Uh, he lives in Los Pinos. It's a really, really fancy area, not too far from where the hotel is. It's a lady now. What's that? It's a lady now. As of like two weeks ago, right? <laughs> oh, okay. Okay, the end of that cathedral is falling over because it's full of gold. Gold. And you have pickpockets that's taking cell phones. Yeah, we're, we were told to put our phones in our front pocket and all the gold's right there. I'll be happy to become a priest. You said you give up your bishop I give up on my wife. Oh my gosh. Get a ride. That's a double decker bus there. Open on top. We're going to that cafe. Oh my goodness, this is so cute. This is the most Mexican restaurant. <laughs> Our waitress is dressed traditionally more. And she told us enchilada Tacuba, which this place is called Cafe Tacuba or something like that. The streets are called Tacuba. But the enchiladas are their specialty, so I'm getting that. This place is too cool. Oh, this food looks so yeah. good. We got the same thing. Yeah, yeah we did. Oh, wow. <laughs> we just got back to our room. What a fun day. So glad I got to see Mexico City. I could totally live here. I'd eat my way through the city. <laughs> I did not eat one thing I did not like in the last couple days. How about you, Solo? Um, um, yes, it's, be it's beautiful. <laughs> He's been here before. <laughs> very beautiful. You miss the best view though, because it's very cloudy. It's oh, yeah, that's right. The mountains are just gorgeous to look at. I got a glimpse of it this morning. The food's good, the people are good. It's a lot more lively. Yeah, it's fun. It's crowded like a lot of the cities in Japan, because it's a very big city. But yes. the people. Uh, there's a lot more, there's a lot more life. Life, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I do love the Mexican culture, very fun. Um, the other time we came, like I said, it was just, it's so different when it's like a resort area. So it was fun to see real life. Um, I really enjoyed the tour of the city in the old town. And uh, the couple, well, the one couple, they were, they were just so good at telling us all the history of everywhere. So it's fascinating. We had a great time overall with the group. Like I said, so much better than any other pastors conference we've been to, which we've been to several uh, this last year, a couple of them. And they were just large conferences. So nice to be with a small group where you are connecting. You all have the same goals. You're ch challenging and encouraging each other. So really enjoyed that. Um, this group meets all the time. My dad leads this group of North American pastors, and it's just that we've never gotten together with the wives too, and so we all determined this was great. We loved it. So yeah, overall really good. We took the first cab home. There's six. It took six cabs to get us all there and back, 
And we got in the first one because we leave the hotel at 4.30 tomorrow morning. So not a lot of sleep, but I'm glad we're getting right back to our kids. We have just spent, we just spent a month overseas and we did not want to be gone long. Most of the team is staying Saturday. They're doing more tourist stuff and whatever. I'm not sure all what they're doing. And then Sunday, they're all going to um, the one couple's church here. Some of them are even going to a resort for a couple nights as a couple and having a little vacation time. We just didn't have time. <laughs> we didn't feel like we had time for any of that, unfortunately, this time. But I'm glad we're getting back to our kids. We've been in constant communication with them and they're doing great. They've done really well. So it was nice that it was very short for them, for the older ones who are watching the younger ones. And I can, we can get back and take over for them. I will show you what we picked up for the kids. I got some random candies that look good in the grocery store. That's always fun. Hopefully they're good ones. Several of the kids we got gifts for, especially today when we were in the Old Town area. This little bag is for Tori. We got this beautiful blanket from the guy that did the looming. This is kind of for everyone. Is that pretty? It's big. And we were given these, these treats, so we'll take those home. We got Noel, this beautiful headband. All these homemade gifts, I mean, made there. We got several change purses for Peace, Destiny, and Hope. They love keeping their their change and their little treasures and little bags. And then this is for Eli, this little wallet. I don't think he even has a wallet. And this little change purse is for Seth. The older kids will get some money for all their help. We just didn't see anything that they would necessarily like that we could fit in the bag <laughs> in our suitcase. But they'll like money the most. Anyway, thank you guys for following along. I wish you could have tasted some of the food we ate. It was so good. We'll talk to you in the next video. Back in Lincoln, back at home. Bye.